Rural industrialization was the only cure for some of the ills of our rural economy. He prepared a scheme for rural industrialization which the Mysore government accepted and implemented. Over the years, he gave practical schemes or advice for the water supply of many towns in India. He was also responsible for the water supply schemes of Goa, Hyderabad, Sindh and Aden. Vishweshwaraya worked incessantly, preparing plans and schemes for the development of the country. He published several books and pamphlets. Waking or sleeping, he had only one thought in his mind, nation building. Vishweshwaraya travelled abroad several times. Wherever he went, his one consuming desire was to bring back technical know-how for the development of his own motherland. He gave his invaluable technical advice for the location of one of the colossal projects of recent times, the Ganga Bridge at Mokame in Bihar. He was past 90 when he undertook this work. His deep interest in the industrialization of the country led Vishweshwaraya to found the All India Manufacturers Organization in 1941. Its motto, prosperity through industry. He wanted manufacturers in the country to develop initiative and build new industries with the help of modern methods of organization. As the founder president of the organization, Vishweshwaraya still keeps in close touch with its activities and gives the organization the benefit of his rich experience and wise counsel. A grateful nation has heaped honors on a man who has served the country in so many spheres. Knighthood, degrees, honoris causa, galore. When the centenary of his alma mater, the Central College in Bangalore, was celebrated, he was honoured as the oldest and the greatest living alumnus. The highest honour that an Indian citizen could receive, the award of Bharat Ratna, came to him. In the citation, he was hailed as the father of the idea of planned development in India. But all these honours sit lightly on Vishweshwaraya's shoulders. Unaffected by all these, he lives today in his Bangalore home without a trace of ostentation. His devoted old secretary still assists him in all his work. punctual in his habits, Vishweshwaraya keeps himself busy and active, receiving visitors, holding discussions with them, attending social functions. For he thinks with Ulysses, how dull it is to pause, to make an end, to rust unburnished, not to shine in use, as though to breathe were life. The one motto of Vishweshwaraya throughout his life has been, work is worship. As this Karma Yogi enters his hundredth year, we cannot do better than invoke the benedictions of our sages of yore.
May we for a hundred autumns see that lustrous eye God ordained arise before us. May we live a hundred autumns. May we hear for a hundred autumns. May we speak well for a hundred autumns. May we hold our head high for a hundred autumns. Yea, even beyond a hundred autumns. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> yeah.